Hello and welcome back. Um, everyone's asleep, and I thought I'd try to use this so I'm not having to talk too whisper too like too too bad here. Um, Thanksgiving is over, and I hope y'all had all had a wonderful holiday. The kids were out of school way too long. We only had a four day weekend. We didn't have a full week like they do. It's I don't know. Anyway. Um, got Mortal Kombat in the background, and there's a reason why, because, well, not much of a reason why, I guess, um, but I'm, I want to go through this as quick as I can, yeah, long, sh long uh, short story, long paragraph, I understand, um, and it's all, t tonight it's all about God's will. Um, we are sinful. We're, all, we're, we're born into sin. We die into sin. We're on a sinful, on a sinful world. Um, and, you know, going back to my not finale part three, I, I was, uh, you know, talking about his grace. You know, and then when you go to my other video about the blood covenants, I was, talk, was talking about explaining how blood cleanses, how God cleansed uh, Adam and Eve with blood, uh, like physically. And when in all the sacrifices that the high priest would do once a year in the Holy of Holies, cleansing our sins with blood, holy blood. Um, and that's what it took to where the sacrifices would no longer be made. He would give his own sacrifice by coming down in the form of his own son, Jesus, to sacrifice his life for us. And thus the final sacrifice, you know, the Holy of Holies is gone. The Like I mentioned in that video, the, the tapestry uh, into the Holy of Holies split. Uh, it's very possible that his blood, it, it's Jesus's blood him, himself fell on the other side of the Ark of the Covenant, uh, creating and, or nullifying the original covenant and going back as far as Moses, um, which is beautiful in itself, if it happened. Um, and, and this is really trying to get into to explaining God's will, um, which can be tricky, and it starts with His grace. Um, now, grace, when written in the New Testament, was the Greek word uh, meaning favor, blessing, or kindness. Um, and he, God could have easily cursed us all because of our sins, uh, and it's deserving of of, of, of being cursed. Uh, he cursed um, before even the covenant of Moses. He cursed Cain when after Cain killed Abel. Uh, put a mark on his forehead and, you know, made sure that he was safe. Uh, that's what the mark was for. Um, and so God chooses to bless us. Instead of when he, I wrote this badly, my notes, um, he chooses to bless us instead of cursing us, um, which is wonderful, which is wonderful um, when we acknowledge his presence, when we accept him, when we let him abide in us. Um, and it's a very beautiful concept. Does God force us, force him on us? No. N O. Preachers of old can preach back and forth, hell and brimstone as for as long as they can to get you to come to Christ. That's not how he really wants you to come to him. He wants you to come on your own your own free will. That's part of also of God's will. For he wants you to come willingly. He doesn't want to force you. He, no one should force you to believe in God. 
to come to him. Um, Ephesians 2, 8, for by grace you are saved through faith and not, and that not of yourselves. I have said this before and got tongue tied for by grace, you are saved through faith and that not of yourselves, which means we can't do it ourselves. We are living, we are a sinful people living in a sinful world. We can't save ourselves. We can idolize hordes of whatever. We can idolize Harry Potter. We can idolize Percy Jackson. We can idolize the old Greek gods, which don't exist. We can idolize Snoopy. We can idolize mice. We can idolize raccoons. We can idolize our home. We can idolize our, our wife, our kids, our car, put the best rims and all sorts of crap on, on our cars or whatever. That doesn't amount a hill of beans when you're dead. Um, you can't take it with you. Um, but it's through his grace that we are saved. Um, and it's all about the blood. Like I mentioned in my blood covenant video, this is all tying together in this one little video here. Um, and what was the blood covenants video thing that I was trying to get to? Is that it, blood cleans. It, it's a cleansing agent. When it is through the Holy Spirit, when it is through the Lord himself, it washes away our sins. Um, from the animal sacrifices, animal sacrifices of old to eventually Christ's blood himself on the cross. Um, and even in the thanks, Thanksgiving video that I just did just the other day, um, uh, which I didn't go over this specifically, but it is in John chapter six. And I went over, I summarized John chapter six, uh, John six verses 28 through, through 29. The work of God is this to believe in the one he has sent to believe in the one that he has sent. We have to believe in Jesus. We have to believe in his resurrection. We have to believe that he is the Christ, that he is our Messiah, our Messiah and Savior. I said that all in one word. I, I created a new word. Wow. There's my wow for this video. I just created a new word, Messiah. Um, probably really not a new word, but who knows? Um, and if you look and diagnose the book of John, he uses the word believe many, many times because it is all about faith. It is all putting your trust in something we can't physically see that we can't touch. You have to believe it uh, because it was his testimony. John saw it. John lived it. John wrote it down on top of, you know, Three, uh, three to four other disciples as well. Um, and God's will may not always be clear. Uh, let's go to Proverbs 3, verses 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understandings. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will make your paths straight. Trust in the Lord with all you with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. We can't understand everything God does. We just can't. We have to acknowledge him. We have to acknowledge he is our Lord. Uh, he is our father. He is our creator. He is the Holy Spirit. Um, we, we have to believe in God. Um, so many people have had YouTube testimonies, and I've mentioned this in another video of their experiences with NDEs, OBEs, and there's some other acronyms for the spiritual awakenings that some people have had, and many of them, they have seen God, they have seen Jesus, they have 
spoken. They have come back with messages. Um, it is just incredible. You know, believe it or not, a lot of people don't believe them. Uh, but it's just some people are, it, it, it's almost like I've said in another prior video before is it it's almost like there's a new chapter being written or video recorded who knows this is a new media after all isn't it um and he will make your paths straight um everything will be made correct with your life and your path and in one of those finale videos, I even mentioned about my testimony, how I remember uh, Mortal Kombat sort of grayed out, I'll just leave it, where I was in Sunday school and I was going over all parts of my life. And I didn't prepare. I just had some notes. You know, this happened and this happened and I met so-and-so and this happened and... In my dark, this dark period that I had during the time, etc. I'm prepared. Um, <clears throat> and my eyes were opened. Because at that moment, I'm sitting on a stool in front of a room or class of my own peers. Um, most of them actually a little old, a few older, year old a little older than me, um, my eyes were opened. I couldn't believe. I, I mean, God's fingerprints, I could see it all in my own life. I could see it in the events laid out before me, and I had never seen it before. <laughs> for this to have happened, for something down here to have happened, all this had to have happened first. And if this hadn't, hadn't happened, this never would have happened. Or this person never would have been born. I wouldn't have been born if this hadn't happened, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, a certain domino effect. All laid perfectly with all the cards in the right w manner, in the right ways for my personal tests to fall into place to help build the person that I am today. Okay. And wherever you are in your life, you may not be 40 something. You may be 20 something. Lay out your life. Write down the important events that you remember from your first car to your first job to your first girlfriend to your, your marriage to your whatever. Your, any of your opportunities with a, with a church or, or friends, high school, college, all these events, um, and the tragedies as well, put it all together. And you don't have to have people in front of you. Just talk and explain it to yourself out loud, video record it, and you'll be amazed at, hey... This couldn't have happened if I didn't do this. Why did I do this? What led me here to this job when I was preparing for something else? How did this happen? I don't remember my decisions here. Other people's hands can be at work, uh, even God's. And it's all unbeknownst to us. It's, I mean, yes, some, uh, it is bi biblical that we can create our own situations to some extent. In our own persona, our own circumstances, our own depressions, our lifting up. But we can't do it without Him. Um, or I believe. I believe that. I believe that. Um, in, in just a few points, I'm going to wrap this up. Seek the Lord, the Holy Spirit, Spirit will guide you and help. He show helps show us His will. Um, and let's check out Romans twelve verse two. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, 
but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. We have a, per a wonderful definition. His will is good, his will is pleasing, and his will is perfect. What his will is, we don't know. But I'm going to get to that. But again, do not conform any longer to, to the pattern of this sinful world. I added the word sinful. Uh, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That was part of the whole theme for those two videos I did with the Transformers game in the background. See, aren't we tying all this up right now? His will is on all these videos, and it's coming to a head right here. Um, we can change. We can dig ourselves out of the pit that we have dug ourselves in a, into a pit of sin. We can crawl out. We have to reach up and mentally grab his hand we have to admit our defeat, admit that we have sinned, admit what we have done, and he will help us um, when he abides with us. Specific daily circumstances, yes. Um, his will can be in all through our daily lives, but we need to have daily prayer. We need to meditate with him, fasting, worship, praising Praising him, giving thanks to him. My Thanksgiving video, that was a main part of that video. Giving thanks. When Christ gave thanks to the Feast of the 5,000 is when I believe the miracle happened. Miracles can happen when you give thanks. Uh, and it doesn't have to be just a blessing at a meal. Um... We need to be giving thanks continually to God uh, and personal Bible study, uh, being one-on-one -on -one with God, reading His Word, learning about Him, studying His Word, um, and not just memorizing Scripture, which is good too, but trying to understand a lot of the context from where it comes from, who's talking to who, and how we can apply it to our lives today. That's sort of the point of some of these videos to some extent, though I'm, I will admit I'm not that great with them. Uh, but through these daily circumstances, through prayer and meditation, he can start to reveal himself to us in a variety of ways. Maybe not paranormal, but through other people, through things around us, shows, maybe something on a car, a billboard, a song on a radio. Uh, you just never know. You know, you maybe have prayed for something one evening or one morning, and you get in your car and you turn on the radio and you hear a song that you may not have heard for a while. It's It may be eye-opening, just the message of some old song that you've forgotten. Who knows? Um, how else can we try to help understand his will or hear the, the work, uh, hear his voice? Having a relationship with him, intimacy with God, uh, surrendering to his will, not our will, but his will. Uh, when we seek him, we can find the truth. We need to have a relationship with him. We need to surrender to him and we need to seek him out. Uh, and we may not always hear his voice. Like I said, when he speaks, it, oh, goodness, excuse me, um, I've been getting over being sick. You know, in my previous video, I said my throat was feeling bad. Well, I've been feeling pretty crummy. Um, and when you give your over, yourself give you over, when you surrender yourself to God's will, you may find yourself doing things you don't normally do. Um, you may be a little more organized. You may start 
adventuring out more. You may find out you're doing something, things more, maybe a little more spontaneous. Like this video, by the way. Um, his will is not our will. I have felt his presence. Um, I've wanted to do this video for a long time, and it just sort of pressed upon me. Um, I was in prayer earlier today, and it just, I don't know, it just, I, we got home, kids did their homework, uh, got a load of clothes done and hung up. I, I, I made their dinner, I've made them their lunches, I've done the dishes. Don't ask me what my wife has done, I'm not sure. Uh, well, she made sure they did their homework. And, 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 and I just, I, I, it was implored upon me, this has got to be done, this has got to get out there. Um, so I apologize for as rushed as this feels. Um, our prayers, like I said, pray continually. I've mentioned that in another video before. Uh, being in prayer and meditating and talking with him um, is a need. It's a necessity. When we fall from him, when we when we fall away from 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 talking with God and talking with Christ, is when we fall. Uh, we fall back into sin, and and he doesn't follow us there. Uh, he can't look on the sin, but he still loves us. Uh, are we still saved by grace? Yes, but we have to continually repent for every time we fall. We have to repent. We have to ask for forgiveness. Um, and, and, and just like his will, this is a very good example. Um, especially with, when you have relatives that are ill or in the hospital or in the ICU, ER, whatever. We always pray for healing um, in our Sunday schools. Uh, me personally, uh, I, I pray for people. When you pray for someone, pray for them specifically by name. Um, sometimes in Sunday schools, we may not mention their name because we'll have so many prayer requests. It's ridiculous. Uh, but we do ask for a general, you know, please, uh, you know, Lord, we ask you to help give a healing hand to the names that have been mentioned, et cetera, et cetera. But when you pray personally, in your personal prayer time, always mention people's names by name. Uh, full name if you know it. If not, you know, picture their face, know who they are, where they are, um, call them by name. Um, and and when, when you know somebody, you know them, okay? Um, and it really, really helps, trust me. Um, a boy, <laughs> mm, I don't even know this boy very well, and I have just prayed my little heart out for, for this kid. And he's in a very similar situation that I was when I was not much younger than he is now. I don't, I'm not even related to him, but he, he's a co-worker, a son of a co-worker. And he is doing so well. His mother is explaining to me it's just been miraculous. Um, I, I don't want to get into details. I think I've mentioned this before, again, in another video. Uh, this is all accumulating right here. And it's just been miraculous. She, she was so thankful for everyone's prayer. I got word out as well. She was getting word out. And he is doing so much better. I need to check up on, on, on her to see how he's doing again. Um, but, but sometimes... His will is bringing them home to him. We may not want to lose our relatives. We may not want to lose our loved ones. To us, it's a loss. To him, it's a gain. Uh, through his gain, we are tested. 9-11 um, was a test on a, a, lot, a huge multitude of people on our own country. Um, the Civil War, <laughs> brothers fighting brothers, uh, literally, sometimes families against families, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the whole union versus the, you know, the, the grays and uh, gray coats and the and blue coats, et cetera. Um, it put it, it was a taxing on the on the country at the time. Uh, the Revolutionary War, 
World War One, World War Two, for every war, we we've lost people, or and, and and soldiers, if they didn't lose their lives, they may have lost limbs, eyes, hands, feet, whatever. Um, war is not pretty, and war sometimes is needed. Unfortunately, um, but you know, sometimes when we pray. Our, our prayers are answered, but our will is not his will. Uh, so sometimes, like, like I've, I've said, that that's an example of that, is especially, oh gosh, I don't want to get into anyone specific, but there are too many people specifically, um, but it's happened where... You know, it looked like somebody was getting better. They were going to get out of the hospital, and then they didn't. That's not what God wanted, I guess. He wanted them. Um, that was their time. And uh, while we think, while well, sometimes we will, you know, yell at God, why did this happen? Why is this a tragedy? Why, is it, you know, why did this young person die? Why did that person die? Why is this baby dead? Et cetera, et cetera. For us, it's always a tragedy because we are in a sinful world. We are in a selfish, selfish world. All we can think about is us. We're not thinking about him. But when we're gone from here, we are transformed. We are like beings of light. Uh, and he is a God of light from uh, what many people have experienced in the afterlife um and it's just beautiful people come back they're told they have to come back and they want to go back they don't want to be here but their messages are being heard um for homework uh yeah here's your homework first thessalonians Chapters 4, verses 3 through 5, and 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 16 through 18. Um, please read those and make a devotion on, on those verses. That's the first Thessalonians, first Thessalonians 4, 3 through 5, and chapter 5, verses 16 through 18. Um, and it's basically... He's, he wants us to, uh, he wants us to attempt continuously be sanctified. Uh, and we have to do that ourselves through him, through repentance and forgiveness, accepting him, accepting his grace, his, for his treasure in heaven that awaits us. Um, and it's not an easy road and it's all about self-control where have i mentioned that before um so a lot of videos are overlapping here thank you so much i hope y'all had a wonderful thanksgiving holiday i haven't done this many videos continuously in a long long time and it has been fun it's been very spontaneous and it has been the will of god i don't know where this is coming from so thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed morning. Have a blessed afternoon. Or have a blessed evening. Whenever time that you are watching this to have an inspirational word for the day. I'm sorry I went so long. Thank you.